What is going on everybody? I'm back today to talk about a film that being on TikTok for a while, I've reviewed a lot of people's letterboxed and given them recommendations for their letterboxed accounts. I have seen this movie on a ton of people's top four lists. I've seen this movie on a ton of people's favorite films of all time. And I have never seen this film before, so I decided I wanted to watch it for the first time. And it is from director Robert Altman, who I know has created some incredible works of film. And I've never watched a single film in his catalog. And so this was a film that I was very excited to watch. And I'm looking forward to telling you about it today in the movie I'm going to be discussing is The Long Goodbye. The Long Goodbye is directed by Robert Altman. Detective Philip Marlowe tries to help a friend who is accused of murdering his wife. So, very quick plot description, not a whole lot to it, but as I said, very excited to watch this movie, and in short, I absolutely loved everything about this movie. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Performances were great, it was suspenseful, it was funny, kept me on the edge of my seat. It was just one of the greatest film viewing experiences I've had in a while. So, in short, as the plot description briefly states, we're introduced to Detective Marlowe, who everybody calls him Marlowe. He lives in this dingy apartment apartment with his cat who his cat is a little piece of shit and he's constantly getting it into it with his cat and he's always chain smoking cigarettes and on his property this group of four or five women live there they're really into yoga they're constantly doing all this crazy stuff outside of the apartment so really early on you get this very interesting dynamic his cat gets mad because it doesn't have cat food so he goes to the store they're sold out of the cat food that his cat normally eats he comes back in the cat won't eat the cat food that he's brought back and so you know this movie's gonna have charm to it within the first five minutes shortly after he comes home one of his friends enters the house and talks to him for a minute says that he got into a fight with his wife and he asks him if he'd drive him to the Mexico border. Marlo's kind of like, you know what, whatever, I'm not doing anything else, might as well. So he just packs up the car, drives him to the border, and then goes back home. Well, shortly after, the police show up at his house and say, we need to take you downtown for questioning. They take him downtown, he's there for about three days. You find out that his friend has been accused of killing his wife and fleeing the country, and then after fleeing the country, killing himself. So he's hit with all this information, he gets out of jail, and shortly after he is approached by this woman who lives in the same community that his friend lives in who says that her husband has gone missing and that she cannot find her husband he's a private detective he he says okay I'll help you if you pay me and he starts looking for this woman's husband and the entirety of the film is the story of this woman and her husband and how it intertwines with the story of his friend and the wife who has been murdered. You get snapshots into both stories and how they overlap. And as I said, this movie was an absolute delight. I laughed so many times through it. I had a huge smile on my face. It was so well shot. It was engaging. It was performance driven. It was everything you could want in a film. The first thing I want to talk about when I discuss this movie is Elliot Gould's performance. He was born to play this role. It he is just so charismatic and charming and he really commands the screen in every scene that you're watching he's constantly chain smoking cigarettes and if you get on letterbox the joke everybody makes is that elliot gould could light a match on any surface you see him like striking a match on the concrete on the side of buildings he's constantly chain smoking offering people cigarettes it's really hilarious it's funny because when you look at a lot of these like almost neo-noir-esque detective films you have to have someone in the role who can just embody the character in a perfect way and Elliot Gould does that perfectly in this I think that he he encapsulates this role of kind of like the I do this job because I have to make money and I might be good at it but I don't really care all that much like it, it's it's funny because this movie I said it was suspenseful and kept me on the edge of my seat and it does but it also feels like a laid-back almost hangout movie at moments it's a very interesting tone that's conveyed throughout it because it's fun and whimsical in moments and it's really suspenseful and dramatic in others and I think that's due to the filmmaking as well the cinematography in this thing is absolutely fantastic every scene there's at least one shot that is super fascinating to look at that's really interesting as to why the director chose to frame it in the way that he did with a cinematographer and I think that adds to the overall experience of the movie and how you're piecing together this mystery in your head all the other actors and actresses in the film do a really fantastic job as well I think they help immerse you in this world and keep you 
engaged from the very first shot. And something like this that's a mystery, you have to keep your audience engaged. Otherwise, it's just going to get really repetitive and tedious. And this movie never gets repetitive or tedious once. It's just so entertaining in every single way. The twists and turns that it takes in the third act really surprised me. And especially the very end. I was not expecting the end of this movie at all whatsoever. The settings are really cool. I love the family that he's investigating for the wife, the missing husband. Their house is like on this beach and there's all these really cool shots through the window where like a character will be on the beach and all you can see is their reflection while two other characters are having a conversation and it makes for a really compelling visual experience and I think not only when your source material is really interesting like the mystery that the lead character is investigating is really fascinating and keeps you on the edge of your seat but when the cinematography parallels that it makes the experience all for the better and I really enjoyed every second of this movie and I loved that I went into it blind I really didn't know anything about this at all and yeah it's just an absolutely incredible viewing experience I'd highly recommend and checking this out. I don't want to get too much more into plot details because everything about this movie is the twist and turns. There is a fun, non-credited cameo appearance by none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger, which was also a pretty pleasant surprise when I was watching the movie. But yeah, this is just... It's an absolute blast. Go in and watch this movie if you've never seen it. It is 100% worth it. So have you seen The Long Goodbye? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was fantastic. I loved every second of it and I cannot wait to revisit this one again in the near future. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.